South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, nice to have you here. Does, you. does the president appear to be apologizing to Muslims for what is essentially an act of free speech without ever defending the First Amendment and doing so with taxpayer dollars? Well, I, here's the way I, I view this. Uh, the bottom line is that most countries in the Mideast, people do not believe anything major can happen without the government approval because they're totalitarian societies. So if a film is produced in a country that gets distributed, they just assume the government is involved. I don't mind the Secretary of State and President Obama <coughs> clearly stating to the Muslim world this film is not who we are and what we believe, but they should say in our society people have a right to say these things, and I'm here to say that we reject the content of this film. My problem with the Obama administration and Obama policies is that we're leading from behind at a time we desperately need bold leadership. His foreign policy makes me long for the decisive days of Jimmy Carter. In 2009, when the Iranian people took to the street trying to overthrow the Ayatollahs, Ayatollahs uh, Barack Obama sat on the sideline and said he didn't want to get involved because he didn't want to jeopardize his chance to work with the, uh, the Iranian regime. What a wonderful opportunity lost leaving Afghanistan, never talking about success, sitting on the sidelines and watching Syrians get slaughtered, throwing Israelis under the bus. This is a, this is a very weak, ill-conceived foreign policy. And our problems are not the film. It's our problems is with our commander-in-chief. Senator, speaking of Iran, you have a resolution that will, as I understand it, be voting on perhaps today that would put the U.S. Senate on record as ruling yes. out a strategy of containment with respect to Iran. Are you convinced that, in fact, that is sort of secretly the president's strategy here, containment, and that he is not being truthful when he says all options, including military, are on the table? Well, here's what I believe. The Senate should speak with one bipartisan voice rejecting containing a nuclear-armed Iran. The president said it. The question is, are we going to make sure it never happens? If they get a nuclear weapon, they will share the technology with terrorists. Uh, Sunni Arab states will want a nuclear weapon of their own, and you have a nuclear arms race in the Mideast, and Israel is not going to live under that threat. I'm also working on a resolution, and I can't get any Democratic support to speak of, for the idea of what does having your back mean. When President Obama went to the APAC convention, this past year, he stood up in front of the audience and told Israel, we have your back. Well, what does that mean? Uh, in my view, having your back means if Israel has to use military force to protect itself against Iran's nuclear program, we right. will be there for them. But Senator, when the president says he will use military force if necessary, do you believe him? Uh, I don't think the Iranians believe him. And I think given his behavior in Syria, it's pretty hard to convince anybody that Barack Obama, you know, killing bin Laden was a tactical success. The hardest decision a president will make is not killing bin Laden. It hasn't made us safer. You know, John Kerry said at the Democratic Convention, ask bin Laden if he's better off. Well, here's my retort. Ask the diplomats and Americans serving in the Mideast, are they better off after four years? I've never seen our enemies more emboldened and I've never seen our friends more afraid. So when you ask me, does does he have the resolve to use military force uh, against a nation state, not just killing a single terrorist? I would suggest that what he's doing in Syria, the way he's handled Afghanistan and his policies toward Iran and Israel in general would make me wonder. And I think the Iranians looking at us really don't believe they're in jeopardy of a military attack. And all of our attention is on Israel. If you listen to the Obama administration, the problem in the Mideast is Israel, not Iran. Senator Lindsey Graham, as always, Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you. Neil Cavuto.